Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be filming a full face of Milani Cosmetics and I want to use the products to create a holiday makeup look because it is officially the holiday season. It's been the holiday season for a while. I'm just finally getting around to sitting down and filming a video. So I want to give a huge shout out to Milani Cosmetics for sending me these products, a full face of Milani Cosmetics products were gifted to me by the brand and I am so excited when they reached out to me. I was kind of a little speechless because they are a really well-known and big brand and I was really excited that they wanted to work with me on a video like this. So thank you so much to Milani for sending me these products. I have absolutely everything to do a full face for you guys in today's video. Brow products, bronzer, setting spray, primer, eyeshadow palette, lip products, we have the whole works for a full face. So I really hope that you guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy seeing this holiday makeup look that I come up with. It's perfect for Christmas time, New Year's, or whatever holiday you guys are celebrating this holiday season. Or if you just want to get glam on a normal day, that is totally fine too. And I totally respect that. So I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this video. I can't thank Milani enough for these products. I am so excited and let's just go ahead and get started. Started. So I'm going to be starting off the makeup look as I normally would by doing my brows. I have Milani Stay Put Brow Sculpting Pencil in the shade Medium Brown right here. This looks very reminiscent of maybe like a brow definer. It doesn't look like it's going to be a skinny crayon, but I love trying new brow pencils. And the packaging on not only this, but all of Milani stuff is really beautiful with the gold reflective accent. So this is what the brow pencil looks like. I don't think I mentioned in the intro, but this video is gonna kind of be like a testing new makeup and also a first impression because a lot of these products from Milani I haven't tried before. So I believe I've only tried a couple of things in here, maybe like the lipsticks and I also tried the powder, but everything else is brand new to me. So I'm just going to take this brow pencil and try to fill in my brows like I normally would. This is definitely different from other brow pencils that I've tried. If you guys can see, it has, it's not even like triangular, it's almost just totally flat around all edges, like a little square. So I'm excited to see how this is going to perform. Oh. Wow, that's really pigmented. Okay, so I'm gonna go really light-handed with this. Ooh, maybe I should have gotten a lighter color. So far, first impression with this brow pencil is that it is very pigmented, almost, it's almost like a pomade in a pencil. I feel like that's the best way I could describe it. It's very, very creamy, you guys can see. I barely have to put any pressure and a lot of product is coming off of the actual crayon. So I'm trying to be really light-handed and brush out my brow as I go because I feel like with this product, it can be a little bit easy to go overboard if you're not careful. Honestly, you guys, I don't know how I feel about this brow pencil. I don't know if mine is like melted, but it is so, like I'm barely pressing down and so much pigment is coming off. It's a little bit more like creamy and pigmented than I typically like my brow pencils. And I also think it's a little dark for me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my brows definitely do look dark and it's just not my favorite texture to fill in my brows. I think if you guys like more of like a creamy pomade type of pencil then you would really like this but it's not giving me the most natural effect in my brows that I typically would like. I'm gonna try to fix it with like a little concealer and see if I can make it work. I'm gonna try to clean up the brows a little bit with their Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. I am really excited to try their line of Conceal and Perfect products. They sent me two shades in the concealer, 110 Nude Ivory and 115 Light Nude. I think I'm gonna go with 115 Light Nude. 110 looks a little bit too pink for me. I think Light Nude is going to be a good shade so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand yeah that is a really good shade for me actually right now and try to fix my eyebrows Thank you. 
Okay, so I just went ahead and cleaned up the brows with the concealer. I do like the concealer. I could tell right off the bat that the formula is definitely more like matte and fast drying. I've heard that about that whole conceal and perfect line in general, but it has nice coverage to it and my brows definitely look a lot better. So now I'm gonna move on to doing my eyes. I was so excited that they sent this to me because I've been wanting to try this particular eyeshadow palette forever. So this is their Bold Obsessions eyeshadow palette. I know it's a little hard to see with the reflection of the studio lights but this is what that palette looks like and I just think this is absolutely perfect for this time of year this palette just screams holiday to me and I believe these are pretty affordable as well I will definitely have all these products listed and linked down below with their price but just look at these colors these are just so beautiful and perfect for holidays so i'm not exactly sure what type of eye look i'm gonna do but i definitely want to keep it neutral and festive because i want to do a red lip so i have to keep it more on the neutral side maybe some of these browns gold a little bit of that burgundy but we'll play around with it of course the first thing i'm gonna do is put a transition shade in my crease so i'm gonna take this really pretty mid-tone brown right here this one is called sweet as honey and I'm going to pop that into the crease. I think I'm gonna do like a very traditional, classic shaped eye look. Like I said, perfect for the holidays. And right off the bat, this is pretty pigmented. A lot of color is coming up on my brush. This color is really pretty, just like a beautiful mid-tone brown, and so far it's blending out really nicely on the eyes. Next up, I wanna go ahead and deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This deep chocolatey brown is called Brunettes Have Fun. That's such a cute name, but I just wanna go ahead and put a little bit of this on my outer corner. I know this look is probably something you guys have seen me do before, but I just think like classic browns with like a really big cutout lid just screams holidays to me. And that's just what I was feeling when I saw this palette. So now that I have those matte shades down, I'm going to take a little bit more of the Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I'm just gonna take a little bit, just honestly right off the wand. You don't need a lot for this. And I'm just going to take the concealer on a teeny brush and just start carving out the front half of my lid. To top off my lid and to bring the whole eye look together, I'm going to go in with this beautiful classic Christmassy gold. This is in the shade Gold Getter. And I'm just going to put this on my finger. Ooh, do you guys see that? That is very, very pigmented. I just think this is going to apply best with my finger. So I'm just going to kind of tap it right on top of that concealer. And that is sticking down so beautifully. It's really, really metallic. Okay, so if you guys are following along with this look and you just want to keep it like more simple for day to day, you could totally leave the eyes right here. But for the holidays, I'm going to be adding this Hypnotic Lights Holographic Eye Topper. I think something like this is so fun and beautiful for Christmas or New Year. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and adding it on top of the gold that I have on my eyes already. So I'm just going to be applying it directly with the applicator that it comes with. And if you guys are wondering, this one is in the shade 01 luster light it's like a really beautiful champagne but if you look at it closely it has green and purple holographic reflect in there I 
I really hope that's pulling on camera how just like wet and metallic that looks. I'm barely even like pressing down with the brush and it just coated the lid so nicely. Oh, oh yeah. I feel like you guys can definitely see on camera this eye with the eye topper compared to this eye with just the eyeshadow. That makes the biggest difference in like the dimension of the eye. My lid looks so much more prominent. Oh yeah, it's definitely showing on camera. It looks almost wet and glossy, my eyes. Okay, you guys, I'm sure you could tell, but so far I am so obsessed with this. This was like beautiful. It really took the look to the next level and it was really easy to apply. I thought that the applicator was going to be a little big at first, but it was perfect to apply. I just brushed off some of that excess shadow and it is beautiful. I definitely don't think that you guys absolutely need an eyeshadow underneath. When I read that this was a topper, I kind of thought it was going to be just a little bit more sheer than it was almost just like a glitter topper not necessarily like a very opaque liquid eyeshadow but it is but it's beautiful I think it really took the look to that like next holiday level and I'm obsessed with this so far I'm definitely going to have to see how everything performs but I love this. This is probably so far my favorite thing that I've tried. So I'm actually going to go ahead and apply my mascara last. I figured right now I would move on to applying my face products. I am really excited to try these because I've heard so many great things about Milani base products and personally in general I've just been loving trying out new foundations, concealers, primers. It has just been like my current obsession and I've heard really great things about Milani's baseline. So the first First thing I'm going to do is spray a little bit of their Make It Last setting spray. This I know a lot of people rave about here on YouTube and it says that you can prime, correct, and set your face. So I'm going to use it now as a primer spray because to me, especially in the winter, my skin is really dry right now. So a primer spray and all of the moisturizing layers I could get is crucial. And for actual face primer, I picked out their Prime Perfection Face Primer in their hydrating formula. I think they have like a hydrating, a matte, and maybe like a normal or like a smoothing. I'm not exactly sure, but this one is hydrating, but it's still oil free. I don't know how much of this to use, maybe like that much. Definitely so far looks and feels like a lotion. Ooh. It smells like something from my childhood. I just don't know what it is. So, so far it looks really nice on the skin, nice and like glowy. I definitely see the luminous finish that it left on the skin. I'm just gonna take a little bit more around my problem areas, like my pores and my chin where my makeup tends to rub off or I look like really textured just to smooth out that area a bit more. The primer feels really soft and like velvety smooth on my skin, but I still do see that my skin looks really like hydrated. I definitely see that luminosity. The foundation that I'm going to use today is the Milani, of course. Everything is Milani. Their Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I picked it out in the shade 01A1 Nude Ivory. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to match me, but I guess it's good that I'm wearing a turtleneck today, so you really won't be able to tell. I have a feeling it might be just a little bit light on me, but color matching online isn't my strongest area, but I'm gonna try to make it work. So I have seen a couple of people on YouTube, actually a lot of people on YouTube use this foundation. I know it's a pretty popular one, and I know, oh yeah, it's definitely more of like a thick formula, if you guys can see. And I have heard that it is like pretty full coverage and can tend to be a little matte. So I'm just gonna start off light with this foundation and I also have a damp sponge to blend it out and work it into the skin. And the color match doesn't look too bad so far. The foundation looks pretty so far. I could definitely see 
the medium to full coverage. It's definitely not totally full so far, but definitely a strong medium coverage. And I don't think it says on the bottle what type of finish it's supposed to have as far as like matte or natural, but I definitely do see more of a matte finish coming through on this foundation. But I also see some of that primer peeking through at the same time in certain areas. I'm going to apply just a little bit more, like half a pump, and just spread it across my face just to see if I could build up the coverage a little bit. I'm definitely getting more of a full coverage look with the second layer. Like I said, more on the matte side. If you guys are really, really dry, I don't think you would enjoy this foundation unless you mixed it with like an oil or slathered a lot of oil on your face. So I definitely think it's more on the drying matte side. But I think the combination of the spray as well as the hydrating primer helped it on my skin but with the second layer i'm getting way more of a full coverage and for concealer i'm going to be using the same exact one that i used around my brows and on my eyes they're conceal and perfect long wear concealer and this one is in the shade 115 light nude this again is definitely more of a thick matte formula i really figured that out just from carving out my brows so i think i'm going to do one under eye at a time and just apply a little bit and try to stretch it out. The concealer is blending out very nicely. I thought it would give me more of an issue because it is more of a thick formula, but it blended out like a dream with my damp sponge and I think it looks beautiful underneath the eyes. Oh, I really like this concealer so far, you guys. I definitely see the difference between this eye and this eye. I applied just a little bit more on this side to the inner corner, and it gave me more coverage. So I'm gonna go in and apply more on this inner corner to make sure everything looks even, but I really think that this looks pretty under the eyes. To set the face, I have their translucent powder in the light to medium color, and it says that it absorbs oils and mattifies. So I'm going to use this very sparingly because what I have going on on the face right now is definitely way more on the mattifying side than I'm used to. This combination I feel like would be way better for me in the summertime, but I think that this is also a beautiful combination for photographs. I could just see it in my viewfinder that my skin just looks so smooth and full coverage and just like perfected on camera so I have a feeling that the foundation and concealer is going to be beautiful for photographs for me and that's what I'm going to absolutely love it for I get so many questions about this brush that I use to set under my eyes and the center of my face and I will have it linked down below for you guys because I know a lot of people are curious. To bronze the skin today, I'm going to be using their Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have mine in the shade 02 Sunkissed. So since I've never used this before, I'm going to use it on a dual fiber powder brush from Sigma. This is just going to distribute the product lighter just until I could get a sense for like how much pigment this bronzer puts down. I want to be careful when applying it. So I just dipped into there a few times and I'm just going to start bronzing the skin. I really like this color for my nose, you guys. I've been really liking to just kind of contour my nose with a little bit of my bronzer, but my Anastasia bronzer is a little bit warm for that. I find that this is like the perfect mix of a bronzer and a contour to where it's making the nose contour look really natural and it's making it really easy for me to do. 
For Blush, Milani sent over their famous baked blushes, you guys. Would you believe me if I told you I have never tried these? I know that Luminoso has been like one of the most popular blushes ever for years and years now in the makeup community and in the beauty community here on YouTube, but I have never tried it. But I picked out two blushes that they were so kind enough to send me. The first one is in 02 Rose Dioro, which looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful rosy shade with that golden marbling throughout it. And then the second shade that they sent me was Berry Amore, which is more of a deep berry tone. If I put them side by side, this one is Berry Amore and this one is Rose Dioro. Rose Dioro is definitely a little bit more like peachy, while Berry Amore is more of like a day-to-day -day mauve -y shade. So I think for this look, I'm gonna use Berry Amore just because it has more of like that really pretty like pinky wintertime undertone. I feel like Rose Dioro could be really beautiful in the summer or the spring when I want more of that peachy undertone. If you guys can see, this is Rose Dioro right here compared to Berry Amore. That's a beautiful blush. Right off the bat, I could see what all of the hype is about of these blushes for all these years because the formula is so good. It's really nice and pigmented and has a beautiful finish to it. I feel like I put on a little too much. I'm gonna try to blend it out, but if there's any time to go overboard with blush, I feel like it's in the winter when everyone is cold and naturally flushed anyway. I feel like a little bit of a heavier, deeper blush in the winter just works. But I love this color and I love the natural sheen that it has in it. Okay, you guys, I am really excited for this next product because I hear so many people rave about this. So this is their Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette and this one is in the shade 03 Rose Gold. This is what this beauty looks like. It has the three highlighter shades. I have gone ahead and swatched this already because when I opened this package, I couldn't wait to dip my fingers into this highlighter. So far right off the bat, I could tell I like this highlighter because my skin is very textured at the moment and I'm not seeing any of that emphasized. I think this is one of those highlighters that is very intense, but in more of like a glowy, subtle way. It's also not like chunky or glittery on the skin at all. So really pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit down the center of my nose. Actually, I'm gonna use my finger down the center of my nose just to be a little bit more precise. So you guys know the drill now that all of the powders are on my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the Make It Last Setting Spray. I definitely do feel like with this foundation and powder combo, my skin is feeling just a little bit dehydrated. It's not feeling like overly dry or uncomfortable, but I definitely feel like my skin can use a little refresh. But honestly, you guys, I also can't stop looking at this highlighter. So to finish up the eye look, I wanna go ahead and add just a little bit of color back into the look, a little bit of red to make it really festive for Christmas. So I'm going to take this shade called Red Between the Lines, which is a beautiful burgundy shade. It looks to have kind of like a satin finish to it, but I'm going to press this right underneath my lower lash line. Oh wow, and it seems to be very, very pigmented. I love how the red is looking under my lower lash line, but just to intensify it just a little bit more, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Blazing Hot and just like top off the lower lash line a little bit to brighten it up. And lastly, to finish up the eyes, I'm going to coat my lashes in Milani's highly rated mascara. I've never tried any of Milani mascaras before. I picked this one out, honestly, you guys, solely because the packaging is absolutely adorable. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see on camera, but it has little stars all around it. There we go. I think you can see there how cute is this mascara packaging.
So my mascara is done and I actually do really really like it I'll give you guys a close look at the mascara but I think my lashes look really really like full and really dark which I love I think although they're not like the longest that they've ever been they still look really thick and dramatic from far away and it still defines my eyes nicely so so far I really love this mascara as well but lastly for this whole makeup look of course I'm going to finish off with lips Milani sent me four of their lipstick shades that I picked out so I picked out some like brighter ones nude ones and then I also picked out two different reds I wasn't sure if I would like 07 best red or 05 red label I will swatch them both for you guys this one right here is 05 red label and right off the bat that one has a little bit more of a sheen to it compared to 07 best red is a little more matte but if you guys can see if I hold my hand like this sheen aside I don't think there's that much of a difference I would say 05 red label is like a teeny teeny bit more pink to it maybe I would say whereas 07 best red is more of like that classic blue red but I think for today's look I'm gonna go with 07 best red just to have more of a matte finish on my lips I think that is just like so classic and beautiful for the holidays I'm doing this without a lip liner you guys so I'm trying my best <laughs> Alright you guys, so that officially concludes this holiday Christmas time makeup look using a full face of Milani Cosmetics. I want to thank Milani so much for thinking of me and sending me this amazing package. The look is exactly what I had in mind when I sat down to film this video and I definitely was able to achieve the perfect Christmas time holiday glam using a full face of Milani Cosmetics. I am so excited to continue to use these products and of course I will update you guys in a future video how some of the products can continue to work out for me but I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this full face of Milani if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video as always thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have an amazing holiday whatever you guys celebrate and of course I will see you in my next one bye Bye guys!